So we are going to write a program for the linear search. We have included the header file h include studio.h. We will define the main function in main. We have to declare one array. Before that, we will accept the number of elements in an array. Printer enter the number of elements backslash n scan if you will enter the element plus d we have total of n number of element in the array now we have to insert the element in the array for i equal to 0 we require one loop for scanning the whole array i plus plus for i equal to 0 so we will scan the whole array scanner percent d comma and percent ai is the array so this is the array which we have defined data type for this array int i comma n comma we have declared one array suppose it is a static array if you want to declare a dynamic array then we have to use the malloc function so here we have declared the array of size n and in slash all the element of the array now second thing is we have we will ask the user to enter the element to search print of enter the element to see search x less n we will enter the element scan f person b ampersand x suppose x is element to be search now we will create one function which will be called as linear search x in the array so we will pass the base address of the array and the element to be search and it will return the value 1 if the element is found it will return value 0 if element is not found so if y equal equal 1 printer found backslash and as printf printf person d so not person d not found backslash and so this is the main function return zero return zero we return the main function now we have to declare the prototype of the linear search Declare it as int linear car search. It is having a data type int a is for array and second in for array. You know, second is in for the next element. This is a prototype. Now we will define this function which is in linear SEOG search we got an array int a array get the address for the base element of an array the second element we search now we will have a sequential search one by one. So we will use the loop for i equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. One more thing which we require to pass is the size of the array int n. So this should be the size of the array. From here we have to pass for next for n, which is the size of the array. So go back to the and we have passed one more thing that is the size of the array. Now coming back to the function. Now we will use the if condition if 
ai equal equal x then we have to return the value return one okay if it will not be one it will return zero return zero so this is the inner function we have defined we have to define i int i integer root from i to 1 if i equal equal x which is element to itself then we get the number as return 0 so if i equal to 1 it will be so now we have to save this file so to see now we will execute this program enter the number of element that's 5 enter the element 1 3 5 6 7 enter the element to be source 3 form we will take one other case enter the element number of element 3 1 2 3 enter the element to be source 4 not form one more thing you should add to this time complexity of linear search is big O n thank you guys for watching this video